Hello folks and welcome back to Sew and If I Sew or welcome if you're new. My name's Jess and this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking and all things stitch related. As last week I've got my headphones in because it seemed to improve the sound but bear with me um, and hopefully it makes it better for you guys because I know that this room particularly can be very echoey when I film in here so hopefully this helps. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about my plans for December which is really exciting because I actually have plans for December this year. Last year, I was sort of in the thick of Christmas and I didn't do anything else. This year, I'm less stressed about Christmas, even though I will still be in the office quite a lot. It's a known quantity this year. I know how busy I will be, roughly. I know when I can sew, I know when I can't sew. Um, so I've got plans, but I think they're all much more manageable. Um, all but one of the things I'm making I've made before in terms of Christmas presents and the other things I'm making for myself are either I, I've made before or are quite simple. So behind me, you can't see on the floor, is a huge stack of fabric and I'm going to talk you through everything I bought this morning uh, for the Christmas presents I'm making, what my own plans are um, and some of the content as well you can look forward to seeing from me this month. So grab a cup of tea, I'm on, I'm on the herbal chamomile tea today, uh, and let's get started. Let's talk sewing for other people first. So next to me is project one. Now this is not the order I'll be sewing it in, because the order I'm sewing it in is actually the patterns I have versus the patterns I'm waiting for to be printed. Now this enormous bag contains three metres of navy blue, it looks black in the light but it is... Five. I'll turn this round. Yeah, there we go. It's navy blue. Um, it's honestly like I my serious readers light is insanely good. It's so good for showing coloured fabrics, like the the real colour. So yes, it's a lovely like navy blue. It's warm. It's terry toweling. Um, and this is for my sister's Christmas present. I am making her a Tammy handmade Haley robe full length. Um, I'm making a big size. So it's big and cuddly and cosy. And the reason I'm making it, obviously, I know toweling is a traditional dressing gown fabric. Like, I know it is, it's not particularly original. But this actually has quite a special meaning. Because when we were kids, our parents had toweling dressing gowns. They, I mean, they still do, actually. But um, they don't wear them as much. Because my dad has discovered, side note, my parents started doing some sea swimming in Orkney, which is obviously freezing. So bought a dry robe. And dad now just wears his dry robe as a dressing gown. <laughs> And apparently, I mean, it's freezing and all this, so it seems to be working, but I just find it is so funny. Like, if you see him out in the morning walking the dogs, like, you know, if you're just popping the dogs out for a wee um, in his huge dry robe and, like, Crocs, it's just, what a vibe. Anyway, my sister wants dressing gown like our parents had, so I'm making her one. Uh, it'll be a Tammy handmade Haley robe because I've made a few dressing gowns, but actually that's my favourite pattern. I think it's a nice robe vibe it's very easy to make so i can just whip one up for her um and that's quite a simple one it's going to take a while in terms of it's just because it's full length it's just long seams but it should be really good so really excited about that um this i bought actually from a m textiles which is my local fabric shop now i haven't been asked to plug this but the reason i am is because I found it so ridiculously difficult to find toweling anywhere. Or if I did, it was like very soft white toweling for babies. Um, it was quite hard to find a range of toweling and they have loads of colours and they've got bamboo toweling as well, um, which I would have got, but it was more expensive and obviously I needed like three or three and a half metres. So we've gone with a cosy art, honestly it's so snug, big cosy terry cloth dressing gown. Um, depending how this goes, I might make myself one, to be honest. They're very, very warm. So that's present one, Haley Robe. Present two, we have to go digging in the fabric pile for, oh, no, it's at the top, excellent, is a shirt for my dad. So I think I've talked about this before. If I haven't, I've talked about it on Instagram. I may not have talked about it on YouTube. My dad, when I was younger, I think when we were in the Caribbean, so like just under 20 years ago, long time, he bought a mad like Hawaiian style fish shirt and he loved it, absolutely loved it. He used to wear it all the time, it was his holiday shirt. And as things do when you own them for two decades, it started to disintegrate. So he saw Adam's shirt with the parrots and he was very much like, 
I quite like the look of that, I'd like one. So after a bit of searching, I have this wonderfully bright fish fabric. My brief was to make it as bright and ridiculous as possible. So here we are. Um, we have, it's a lovely light blue. It's covered in fish. It's from First Fabrics. The wonderful Tamlin, right? So Tamlin, um, she is part of the First Fabrics team as well. So wonderful sewn on the time. Um, I put a thing up on Instagram going, oh my God, guys, I'm really struggling to find good fish fabric. Not kidding, about 30 seconds and she sent me the link to this from First Fabrics and it's perfect. So I'm really, really excited to get making this. I think this is, I'm actually just gonna do tomorrow because I know I can do it in like a day, half a day, and then it's just done. And with the postal strikes, the presents going up to Scotland, I need to get done before. So like my sister lives in London, so I can give it to her before Christmas. That's fine, like I, we can do that in person. Whereas getting this up to Orkney and the other present I'm about to talk about up to Perth, I need to get them done early so that they're on their way. So this is his shirt. This morning I bought the buttons for it. So I'll show you what I'm using. I went with contrast buttons. Get one out. I went for bright red, even though the fish is more of a pink red. I went with, I don't know if you can see that, like a nice little bright red shirt button. It's matte, which I quite liked. Um, and it's just, yeah, I like a little accent button on shirts like this. So that is dad's present i am going to be using the same pattern as adam so the mccall 6044 um solid pattern so that was amazing i'm gonna leave that in because that was hilarious <laughs> sorry um this pattern is great i'm gonna be making him the large of this pattern but i'm gonna add a little bit in the seam allowance around the arms because he's quite broad and broad in the arm so i'm gonna add a little bit there just just for comfort um, but I think it'll be a good fit. And again, I know how to make it. So this year I have volunteered to make three Christmas presents. Oh God, no, I'm making four. Okay, definitely three. The fourth one, the person has forgotten. I said I'd do it. So it's if I have time, I will do it. Uh, but we'll leave. The four is sort of a maybe. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Definite three. I've agreed to do three because... They're all things that I've made before. So it's it's not like last time I said I'd make my dad a shirt when I'd never made a shirt before. This pattern I've made already. I've made it in this size. I've made it with this type of fabric. I know it, it took me a day and that was pretty relaxed sewing as well. So I could probably do it in half a day if I, you know, put a film on and sped up a bit. Um, so I'm not stressed about making this. I'm probably just gonna do it tomorrow while Adam's at Jiu Jitsu in the morning, just, just get it done. And then that's one done. And then the third present I'm making is for my grandma. Now, I cannot explain how excited I am about this because my grandma actually asked me to make her something. Like she, she sews incredibly she doesn't sew so much now but she bought a singer when she was younger she saved up for it she had a proper old-fashioned singer um she sewed while i was growing up she always makes um she always makes like curtains and stuff now but she used to make all her clothes she used to make clothes for my dad and his siblings when they were kids um she sews a lot and she still knits at the speed of light honestly like we used to call her grandma knit thought when i was younger because she just like when we were little because she just knits constantly um but basically she so she doesn't sew as much anymore she does still knit my dad gets an Aaron jumper every year um that he actually asks for because living in Orkney he basically all he does is wear like wool jumpers <laughs> all the time but she's asked me for an apron she also cooks incredibly and like is generally a domestic goddess like can't even I love her um but I thought I would do a nice little throwback to her sewing and her embroidery and her knitting. Um, and I found this fabric. So I'm gonna hold it under the light. So it is light gray because for a cooking apron, I did, I thought white, they did this fabric in white, but I thought it would just get dirty really quickly. And I thought gray was a slightly better bet. So it's like a cotton canvas. Who is it? Well, it's 100% cotton, but it is more of like a canvas. Like it's quite, um, it's quite robust and it will work really well for an apron. I'm using the Helen's Closet Sam apron, uh, which will work really well. Um, and it's it's a really solid pattern. So that and the updated size of the Hayley robe are both currently at the fold line being printed, along with something else I'm making as well. 
So I'm going to start with this shirt because I also have it in the house. And then as soon as this arrives, this is next. Um, so how cute is this fabric? It's got an old sewing machine like hers. Um, and it's got like sewing and thread and lots of different types of scissors. And it's really, really, really cute. I just have to make sure I don't accidentally cut the pattern upside down because I never work with patterns and I can just see that happening. Um, and I got some webbing to go with it. So I went for a contrast webbing and this, again, under the light, it's like burgundy. It looks quite red in the light actually, but it is, it's burgundy, um, which just goes quite nicely with the sort of brown undertones of the sewing things and the thread and the bobbins. So I'm really nervous because I, it's the same way I feel about like my mum commissioning something. They can actually sew and they can sew very, very well. So I'm really nervous, but also the fact that she's asked me to make something means an unbelievable amount. So I just have to make sure I buckle down and do it really well. <laughs> but I really hope she likes it. And um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna take some photos when it's done and I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of her wearing it for my Instagram. Um, because I won't be up at Christmas, but yeah, I'm sure I can get my grandpa to take a photo, <laughs> which would be really nice. But yeah, I hope she likes it. And oh, honestly, I'm so nervous. It's ridiculous. Like, what is wrong with me? It's an apron. I'll be fine. But I hope she loves it. So on to things that are for me. So thing one is in this bag and I was going to cut it out on Monday, but then I've had the week from hell. <laughs> and really all I've done this work is week... Um, I can't speak today. Uh, all I have done this week is work and sleep, which is quite a hard sentence to say. Um, and I've been up like 5am a few days in a row for work. So I haven't had a lot of energy. So I'm really excited though to be sewing with this fabric. It is like a sort of polyester, it is polyester, but it's a lame and it's a, like a stretch pleated. Uh, so it's got two way stretch. It hasn't really got any this direction, but it has lots in this direction and it's gorgeous it's from aria textiles who i'm collaborating with so they gifted me this fabric and another one i'm going to talk about in a minute um it's to be shared on my instagram that was like i'm being completely transparent i'm making some stuff gonna share on instagram i'm gonna talk to you because it is a really cool shop it's on the gold hawk road which i still need to do like a big gold hawk road trip but i need to do it the same way i did my recent trip to westfield where i save up some money and go so it's not like oh I've spent too much it's like I have this money burning a hole in my pocket let's go and buy some fabric and it's much more I find I would rather wait longer and then have a lovely day out that I've like budgeted for and planned for and you know I'd rather do that and then really enjoy myself than splurge all the time because as well cost of living crisis you know gotta be honest um, so I'm so excited to be working with this though. You can get this fabric and the other one I'm about to talk about in the Black Friday sale, which I believe is still running. I'll share details on my Instagram as well. Um, so this is going to become a Nina Lee caramel jumpsuit, which I have shared here. Now, I bought this pattern like the day it came out because I was like, oh my God, I love it. Now, I'm making this as like a Christmas party version so that I have a Christmas party outfit that is also like long trousers and I don't feel self-conscious walking home in, which I shouldn't feel self-conscious, but I have quite a long commute back from stuff at the office Christmas party. So, and also it's the office, you know, I want to look stylish and sparkly, but not like, it's not what I'd wear to like my own Christmas. However, if this is super comfortable, I'm also going to wear this on Christmas day with like a jumper over the top because I love it. Like it's so, look how fun it is. It's so bright. My parents were like, it's incredibly 80s. And I was like, yes, yes it is. And I love it. It's fabulous. Um, So it is just, just got, look at it. It's so cool. Um, So I'm going to be making the, I shared the view of the needle I'm going to be making. <sighs> Things I'm nervous about. So this pattern is made for woven fabrics not stretch fabrics there's very little stretch in that it'll be fine what I'm more worried about is I you're meant to put a zip in the back of it and I don't really want to so what I have done is I bought a zip which is it looks white but it is like off-white silver grey and it's invisible so it's fine so I have an invisible zip to go in it if I need to that's that's no problem at all but I don't really want to put one in so what I've done is um 
I theoretically, except for in the bust, fit the size eight better than I fit the size 10. So I've made the size 10 and then I also got some waist elastic. So I thought I'd base the back together, see if I can wriggle it on. And if, I, if it's wrigglable, then I'm going to use waist elastic on the inside, like with the cashmere kinetin where you and the so size me sewing the end dress as well, where you literally like stitch the elastic on rather than making a channel, you just stitch it on on the inside. And then I could make it cinch in as well, which would be really nice. Um, so I have both options. That is my project for today. I'm cutting that out this afternoon and I'm going to put it together and see where we get to. If I have to do the waist in the morning, that's fine. But I want to get the, the jump, like the shell of the jumpsuit together tonight. Um, but I'm really excited about that, actually, because A, I don't think I have enough sparkly silver jumpsuits in my life. Who does? I mean, come on. Um, but also, it's just quite fun. It's it's like, I, I have obviously made two jumpsuits. I've made two quite complicated jumpsuits from Vogue. Um, so I'm quite excited to make like a simple one. And hopefully, if I love it, I can make a few for the summer that I can then layer. So I'm thinking... If it works with a stretch fabric, I'm going to get like a really soft, black, thin bamboo jersey, like something really drapey and make it out of that without the zip with the elastic. Because I just think in the summer that would be the most comfortable thing in the world. Um, so I'll I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll obviously put pictures on Instagram and everything of what I do. Um, but I'm quite excited. I'm quite nervous. So I'm going to crack on with that today because as I know, when I'm nervous about things, I tend to just sit and look at them and freak out. So I'd rather crack on and make it. And then it is what it is. But it's very exciting. And thank you, obviously, to the team at Oreo Textiles for gifting me that fabric. Um, they do have a great Black Friday sale on as well. So do check it out. They are a fabulous brand. And I look forward to uh, seeing even more of their fabrics over the year. Now, on a similar note, the other fabric I have from them and is also one of my make nine or oh, will represent one of my make nine, is I have the True Bias Hudson pants here. Side note, oh, I cannot, I cannot call trousers pants. I just can't do it. They're tracky bottoms um, and that's, I refuse. I just, there are certain Americanisms I can deal with and there's certain I really struggle with. And, and I'm sorry, but my pants and my knickers are the same thing. My pants and my trousers are not the same thing. Um, Small rant, but forgive me. Now, I have the most incredible sage green sweatshirting, also from Oreo Textiles, because I couldn't decide between the silver fabric and this, and they were like, oh, we'll give you both. And I was like, oh my God, guys. So the reason I have chosen to go green for my Hudson pants, uh, if I put it under the camera, um, camera, light, you'll see it's quite a delicate, like a light green, because um, it looks very like mossy here, but it's much more like sage. Um, I wanted snug clothes for the house that didn't feel too slobby because sometimes you're on your period, you want to wear big, comfortable black trackies, big jumper, be wrapped in a blanket for three days and be left alone. But sometimes you want to be in the house and snug, you know, maybe you're working from home and you still want to feel vaguely put together, but you're in the house and you're warm. So this was my thought with these. If there's excess fabric, um, and it depends how much excess there is, but if there is excess fabric, I'm going to make the new cashmere Stanton hoodie, I think. But this, this is the initial plan. And then if I have enough to make a matching hoodie, I will. I also have matching ribbing, obviously, for the leg cuffs and the waistband. So I will let you know how I get on with this. If I really like them, I'm considering making my mum a pair for next year. So I'll do a sew along for them if I find the making process like a, if you guys want to sew along, let me know, because sometimes I find a pattern really easy and then I get lots of messages going, how did you do this bit? Um, so I'm happy to do them if it's a pattern you guys would like a sew along for. So those are my two from Aria Textiles. Thank you very much, team. You are wonderful. Um, other things I'm making for myself. On the gifted line, you know by now that Tammy from Tammy Handmade and I are fairly good Instagram friends. I love every pattern she releases and she has given me pre-access uh, well pre but also 
free access, very sweetly, uh, to her new jumper pattern, the Mila jumper. I'm so excited. And she says it can be sewn in an hour, uh, which I'm going to test actually on YouTube in a few weeks. This is the most incredible khaki knit. It's the same stretch knit I used for my True Bias Marlowe which you guys know I love. It's so unbelievably soft. It's gorgeous. And it's also from a and Textiles, my local fabric shop. I was just, I was looking for everything and he carried a whole load of cotton waffle jersey up for me that I was looking at. And then I saw this next to the counter and I was like, no, sorry, I'm going to go with this. I felt so bad. Um, but it's gorgeous. It's so soft. So I'm going to make the meal is very drapey. It's got like a dropped shoulder. Uh, it's perfect for like tucking into jeans. Um, and it's just what I need for this winter. It's stylish, but it's warm. And that is going to be a hero for me in the office. And I figured khaki because I can wear it with black jeans at work or blue jeans in my own life. And also I think khaki can be, it's, it's just a bit more like versatile. Like it is technically a neutral and it's something I need in my wardrobe. So really, really excited about that. So those are the makes that have sort of been gifted. Now, little updates on two makes I've been talking about already. Behind me, you will see my blazer. It's really coming on. So I've made the lining on the inside. I've made the outer jacket. So, so much like actual tailoring has gone into this. Um, I need to do some more stay stitching and that kind of stuff. And a bit of basting. But yeah, I have the outside shell of the blazer, which is really exciting. So the next, I'm leaving that for a week or so while I crack on with Christmas. Um, and also because I'm trying to make a decision on buttons and I don't want to rush it. I have buttons for the sleeves, but I don't have buttons for the front anymore because I use them for something else. And now I'm thinking maybe gold buttons, but then I'm not sure if I should, if I'm doing gold buttons, if I should do gold buttons for the sleeves as well, or if that makes it look too like a navy jacket. I don't know, but I thought you guys would appreciate an update. That is where my blazer is. Um, was it called Pietra are on their way? I'm still umming and eyeing about whether wide leg denim trousers will be fantastic or really uncomfortable um but this denim is really really soft it's from fabrics galore um so i'm still i'm still umming and eyeing but i'd really like to make these in december if i decide yes this is the pattern i'm going with i want to make them in december so i can wear them for work because the pocket size oh my god the pocket size on these is just phenomenal um so i have some really cool plans for december Christmas presents, three, possibly four, see how we go. Um, for me, it is cosy jumpers, cosy tracksuits and a nice Christmas party outfit. There may also be a red velvet um, Tammy Handmade Leona in my future with a square neck hack, but we will see because that basically there is the most incredible red crushed velvet. Uh, is it crushed? No, it's not. It's it's just so beautiful. Um, it's, it's like proper Christmas velvet, it's stunning um sat in my local fabric shop for me they're keeping me some and it's my reward for getting through all of my christmas presents so if i get through everything i'm allowed to go and buy that and whip myself up a beautiful velvet christmas dress that is that is my treat <laughs> which is just ridiculous um so yeah those are my sort of plans but there's one other plan and one cool thing so the cool thing is next to me here i'm not going to show you guys what's in it is my secret sewing swap parcel. Um, in case the person watches my YouTube, I'm not gonna say what's in it because I don't wanna ruin it for them. They obviously won't know it's from me, but then they will when they open it, so. But I, I've chosen a nice little Christmassy envelope, so. Um, the secret sewing swap, if you don't know about it, is kind of like sewing secret Santa, and you get a person, there's like a 10 pound limit, I think. Um, and then, you all enter and you all get matched up anonymously. So I have no idea who's got me. I hope someone has got me and I'm not just like an odd number. Um, but you get the person and then on Instagram, you share the hints. So you may have seen people sharing secret sewing swap and like hints. And it says like, you know, their age and their name and what their other hobbies are and what they like sewing and all that kind of stuff. So from my person, I've tried to choose, I've gone with fabric instead of making them something, because I figured then they can choose what they want to make themselves. I haven't gone for a pattern because I don't want to assume size. And I know there are so many patterns that aren't inclusive. So I wouldn't feel confident choosing a pattern as well for somebody like 
might not be their style, but I have chosen a fabric after basically stalking their Instagram to see what they like. They've said their favorite color is black, that they have other hobbies like gaming and stuff that they like. So I've tried to choose some fabric that has subtle nods to their other hobbies, but and I've gone for like three meters. So hopefully that is like a good sort of, you can make most things. Um, but yeah, I really hope they like it. But yes, if you haven't got involved this year because you have no idea what it is, I'd encourage getting involved. It's really, really lovely and you can do as much or as little as you like. It's it's kind of about the thought, you know? Um, and I'm really excited to be involved this year because I, I just missed it last year, like I was too late. So if you've been wondering what Secret Sewing Swap is, that's what it is. I believe it was originally created by the Camden Stitch, like the concept, and it's being run by Sewing in Pyjamas on Instagram. So go and check it out. The other thing, and I'm so excited telling you this, but also I'm very, very nervous because I hope it happens because he said he will, but fingers crossed. I may have lured Adam back into the sewing room for another Christmas sewing challenge for the two of us. Um, currently we are discussing making Christmas pyjamas. Um, so we'll each make ourselves a pair. So watch this space. Um, <laughs> Oh, honestly, like, ah, oh, I really, I really hope he, he he's happy to do it. Because the thing is, I have two sewing machines now. So whereas last time we did it, we sort of had to share a sewing machine. And it was quite a small thing. This time we could have a machine each set up in the living room and like go for it. And I'm thinking cozy Christmas jams. So hopefully I'll be able to bring you that video in December. It might be in the gap between Christmas and New Year that we bring it to you. It depends on how much time we have, the two of us. It might be a Christmas Eve job. Um, but yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that. He's a very good sport and has agreed to do it. So hopefully we can find a time to do and film that together and end up with some fabulous Christmas jams. Uh, the only other thing to tell you is next week I am doing a bit of a Christmas edit. So sewing machines I recommend if you're looking for people for Christmas presents or if you're just not sure, uh, sewing equipment, you know, my sort of Christmas edit of like good sewing gifts, both for yourself, <laughs> and for others uh, a good one to share with uh, husbands wives partners who might be wanting to buy you a sewing machine uh, parents family um but if there is anything where you're like oh I'd be I'd love to get this for Christmas but I don't know where to start can you let me know in the comments so I can do some research and then I'll film it and um there'll be some good stuff in there obviously we'll talk sewing machines and equipment but also if there's stuff like fabric shops that do Christmas discounts or that do gift cards that your family can buy for you, anything like that, let me know and I'll put it all together in a video. So that's everything from me today. I'm gonna crack on and cut out my Nina Lee Carmel jumpsuit. Um, I will share lots of that on Instagram. I'll put some photos on my community tab as well so you can see how I get on. Um, and then it is full speed ahead with Christmas presents and snuggly winter clothes because I'd rather have those than put the heating on. <laughs> so, if you have any questions for me about any of my makes, let me know in the comments below. And thank you all so much for watching as always. I can't wait to show you my December makes. Um, and please wish me luck for making everyone's Christmas presents. Uh, well, not everyone's, but probably more than I should be making. Um, so until then, I'll see you guys next week. And thank you for watching.